Welcome back. Sundays on Daybreak, we like to shine a light on those Western New Yorkers who have made an impact on their families, friends, and communities. This morning, Larry Hannerberg introduces us to Paul Kalo Kalinowski and his life well lived. Oh, that is Kalo speaking with his voice. I um, would describe Kalo's art as um, unique. Uh, meticulous, very detailed, um, with a strong sense of the macabre. My name is Kathleen Sharon, and I am an artist. I'm a friend of Kalo's. Paul Kalo Kalinowski was an eccentric, indelible, and beloved part of Western New York's art scene with a vast network of friends. His list of like 160 some people, he would send out a Halloween card and a Christmas card made by himself. Hi, I'm Gary Judkins. I'm a longtime friend of Paul Kalinowski, uh, going back 40 some years. Kalo didn't just paint and draw, he performed his art. And last year, the last Halloween party that he had, Kalo made a costume where he is actually sitting in the electric chair and he's decked out in prison stripes and the chair is like, he's like this, and there's a thing on his head for electrocuting him, and it's just an amazing piece. Sense of the macabre, indeed. If creating art is fulfilling some personal need um, for each person, then I think he was a su successful artist. I don't think he sought um, fame or sort of recognition. He was very humble. He was a very humble man. Kalo knew he was losing his battle with colon cancer and let his friend Kathleen know in his last voicemail. No, let put it this way. No, no more holiday cards. On June 8th, Paul Kalo Kalinowski passed. He left behind a legacy of art, but more importantly, indelible memories and friendships. Altogether, a body of work that was a life well lived.